Here we are, it's dawn. It's dawn here in Copenhagen. We're talking about TC Electronic, and these are my babies, um, which I absolutely love. It's the best bass stand I've ever had so far. <laughs> I can only say good things about them. I use uh, the yep. Blacksmith amp. I mean, the setup is great. I, I used to use twice as many speakers years ago, and I now use half as many speakers and get twice the sound. And generally speaking, when you walk away, you sort of feel it, but you don't hear the detail. Yep. Um, but, you know, I tend to stand mostly in front of it because I like the sound of my own bass. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, the thing about it, it's, um, it's contained. It's not a sort of boomy bass or an overtoppy top. There's a kind of great sort of roundness to it. It doesn't wallow, wallow and waffle and stuff. It's really tight, you know. And the combination of that and my Vigier, which I've been using for 20 odd years, is, uh, it's probably the most consistent rig I've ever had. So I'm very, very happy about it. I use one pedal, Dark Matter, yeah. and that's uh, Mickey Lee switches on. I don't use it very often, just okay. when I do a solo or an intro where the bass needs to be a bit you know, more. key to it is getting, you know, I've used a lot of fuzz pedals where you, you plug it in and all you get is a kind of a sheen over the top and you lose the bass, you yeah. lose the power. And what I like about Dark Matter is the way, way we kind of mix it. When it goes from the normal guitar to the fuzz, it doesn't lose that bass uh, yeah. direct kind of feel, you yeah. know. So, uh, and that's really important because if you're suddenly soloing and you want to switch the fuzz in and it disappears, yeah. that's no good. No. So. So yeah, that's what I use it for, and very rarely. Yeah. But uh, I'm a very simple guy. I, I like straight through, no interference from, and there's I think a little bit of compression we put on the blacksmith, yeah. but very little. It's, yeah. it's mostly just straight through. And, and, and I think when you're working with, with hard rock, any kind of effect you have in it just messes the whole sound up. Yeah. It may give you an individual pleasing effect, but when you mix it in with the rest of the band, it doesn't mean that much. Yeah. So I like to be simple and pure and strong. <laughs> I wish I could say that about my private life. But <laughs> uh, one of the riffs I came up with for this last album was a song called um, Birds of Prey. And I was just sitting at home tootling away and I just came up with that. And that's pretty much all I had and went into the writing session that of course became the riff, you know, and it's just it's pretty uh, monumental sound. It's pretty much it, and uh, other than <laughs> smoke in the water, you don't want, yeah. There you go. That's <laughs> I think I made, uh, I made my name on four notes. Those four, yeah. beginning of smoke, you know. <laughs> so uh, I, you couldn't get much simpler than that. So. But simplicity is the hardest thing to get. Uh, it's easy to be, easy to be complex, um, especially when writing. I'm not talking about performing now, but in writing, to come up with simple things that don't sound like anything else. That's, that's really the key to, to writing stuff. And uh, it's hard because, I mean, how many riffs can there be? You hear generic riffs all the time. And bands play them with passion, yeah, great, but it's nothing original. It's, it's difficult being original. But we try. <laughs>